going into the presence for uh, McKinsey quantum which is known as a quantum block so this is on-site interview I would like to share my experience so they have provided me three files so these are files I would like to share is here in my github page you can see so I'm going here and they provided me 12 case study that's uh, I P Y N B uh, Jupyter notebook and uh, read me and team.csv 12 co candidates uh, ticket dot that and then alarm your json so basically it's a telecom server data so let me explain this so there are the one file which is called team id uh, there are many t uh, t uh, 11 to 10 teams 10 to 11 teams and each team has team size and uh, has their experience so it's related to team and uh, there is one JSON file which I would like to share here. Uh, JSON file and ticket dot that file and I would view raw data. So this file says ticket ID and the alarm. So when the, any network failure happened uh, or on tower, that alarm ID and the start time and time solved by team and the uh, uh, source systems and uh, site visit and priority so all this information have and uh, there is one more uh, file which is uh, let me check that one and then we will go to one by one so there is three files we need to join and understand the data uh, so that files is the content I uh, as I said and the team team size and alarm.json so this is the file and this is JSON file. Remember, all the syntax they will not allow us to uh, to the Google. We need to do so. This one also have alarm ID, event start time, event end time, alarm source, sources and network, and so. Let's go we'll go through the questions. The first one is they ask me. Let me go through here if I can make bigger for you guys. Yeah, so the first one they asked me uh, to tell you case study at quantum block what might be di uh, driver for a variation of network maintenance performance between regions. So this is like general questions you need to do. Uh, Google, uh, I also don't have a clear answer uh, and uh, I gave the answer like the network failure. I mean, what is a general network failure? So. Uh, general network failure I say the delay to reach the signals and we couldn't able to find our signals near and our voice is not clear something like that I said then second question they asked after working with data scientists and industry experts we are agreed to uncover drives engineering team performance using the model the first task is access the data available what is data quality issue would you concern about uh, I mean what kind of data quality you check in data sorry the data quality issue would be connected about uh, check, execute test competence data against the issue type, what kind of data you can see and what kind of, so I say, I check in the typical, so they said in the, uh, you have data in table, what quality you check, so I said, I check the primary key, I check null and not null value, mandatory field and then some kind of the business rule I apply and then they ask quality, uh, their business logics, uh, okay, so then they ask me to, issue type exact the uh, test perform issue type uh, we need to find so issue type so here I install uh, I will provide my link here so let's install uh, this is a collab I'm doing in collab so you don't have to do a locked up you can install the collab and can run so pip install firesworth then so here I just uh, did but you need to type manually like from manually need to type because they're not allowed to uh, provide us a syntax but we need to file spark dot sql and then import uh, spark model something like that we need to type right so they're not allowing us to do okay so we need to type so we we started here spark as you see 
and we install the spark and then we need to do this uh, spark session dot builder dot master then local one we give app name where you can give anything so spark can start here so after that uh, alarm.json we need to understand uh, get so this file already i got uh, and uh, if you see here if i do it will create one file and we can see how many files we have so we have alarm.json because I uh, did two times so I'm going to read my previous file. This is the Google Colab is free and we can see the few data. So this is JSON file. So JSON file contain alarm ID is like this, uh, event time, uh, event time and alarm source and uh, network uh, UK Telecom and sub network is the lion. Yeah, meet context is like this issue type is null here but somewhere we will get so in a spark if you want to read we have function spark dot read dot json and then json need to pass so if you run this one and we need to give truncate equal to false so it will not truncate the value so alarm id is this alarm is event this is unix time you can convert if you want but they want to find the issue type so what we can do here we can create a uh, top of that table of view and we can count issue type, right? 3G failure, power failure, speed failure. These are the issue type. So which is the more, more highest number of issue? The first question was to count the issue type. They don't ask that uh, directly, but they will say something like that. Execute the test competence of data against the issue type. So you need to decide what you need to do. And for my case, sometime I forgot the syntax and after that into complete, I finish this one. But so in Spark, uh, we have data function, create or replace view, then uh, data frame name. Uh, I mean, this is the view name and the data frame df. So if you run this one, you can see this like this. So now this is a view and view, we can access the record. So select issue type, count. So you see uh, highest is the null value, then hardware failure, aligned issue, 2G failure, power failure, battery broken, high temperature machine failure, cell failure, speed issue, network uh, unreachable. So these are common area, 4G failure, 3G failure, uplink fail, downlink fail, battery broken power. So these are issues I could have told them. They asked me, but I couldn't able to answer in the my questions. They are just asking, you're checking your the industry knowledge, right? So this is simple. And the next uh, part, what they asked me about, so the next part is here, you also understand. So they are simple initial definition performance is agreed to number of triggered them team sold and to understand the various produce. So the result is like, they want to result. They don't say, they will say, the better to understand variance. They want to see the team, ticket priority count, ticket priority count two, three. So they want to see this one, right? So there is one more file which uh, show us uh, for ticket related. So this ticket team, they have team, they have priority. So they just want to see the how many ticket is being sold by, you know, uh, team and priority. So they, uh, here they didn't ask me direct way, but they just say they want to understand this one. So you need to decide how to do. But after that, once you finish, they will say, okay, we need result like this. So basically you see the team. So now you poach and uh, you see my the, uh, data and uh, so data is like this and uh, you need to solve so basically it's a priority and uh, we need to count up priority one two three it triggered how many so so i was trying to do but they will not say how you do so what so what i did i created again temp data tickets and then i said i did like this priority solve by and count now we need to convert into row to columns or something like that uh, so how do you solve? You can pause here video and try to solve yourself. So what I did, I use case statement priority one, then priority is the to count here, priority two, priority three. It's very simple. I usually do every day this kind of SQL. So you can see, but in that time I was not able to finish at the right time. So uh, uh, that's why I might, and this is what result they need. This is not correct result, but they still need this format. So I think uh, my format and this format is correct. So this is also correct. So now, now the next part they ask me about input uh, uh, as an input early models uh, first uh, create a data frame with year, month, team size, size, ticket to solve uh, previous month. This is a bit tricky. 
So I there is a one more table as I said the team somewhere yeah this is team and the team size I have so they need something like team size team name and uh, so team team size they need team name team size needs and the year month uh, when they saw tickets sold by current month previous month so ticket sold is in different table team is in different table so basically team size I need to find from team table file and the rest of is in a ticket information I think team size is here ticket dot uh, these two file we need to join basically so how do you join so team dot gsv let's read this one uh, you can see the team id but team id uh, I was checking data and it was not joining because if you see team id is here and that team id will not start with zero so my join didn't work so we need to do such a way like it's zero we need to remove or we need to add here zero if it, if it is the last digit something like you need to do to join this one so what I did uh, previous team size uh, I find from here replace team id to team zero so there is a team here also team mm, yeah the column name is team id I think here yeah so team id I'm replacing team zero to team so that and team id and solve why we can join and we can see the result like this so basically you can see team alarm start time and time solved by source visited so this extra column we want from here we got now they want previous month together so there is a function called lag you can get from previous so lag uh, I install the lag and then what I did here uh, this is basically whatever year I just uh, installed the year we got from year month we got from month count and uh, this join the, just uh, we want to see the team year month all of the column we have now now uh, just we need to have one column called the previous value so there is a function called lag solved by we need solved by our partition by solved by year solved by means which team year and order by month so it will give like previous month yeah you can see here uh, month one and two the previous month is 279 so it is a 279 so previous month here their previous month is zero so we got something like that so next question is the example output system using there was just some uh, you know this is the output they need I think our output is uh, looks similar now hypothesis is that team is working new tower will longer to issue this all to college as we can work below but find create a function that accept the alarm record or sub part and return the alarm network type so basically we need to find network type whether it's GSM 2G 3G 4G or none right so there is a column called if you see my JSON file yeah alarm source this is JSON again and you see there is a column alarm contacts so this contain UTM GSM uh, something like that so they want to find whether it's uh, so this is the function I need to complete I don't need to write full but they ask me uh, what you will write here the logic time exception uh, two kicks here so what I did this is the value I have so alarm source I access alarm source then alarm source uh, this alarm source then we context my contacts json string alarm source my contacts and we just contain gsm or something like that then it will print so let's run this one so you see there is a uh, 3g so 3g because utm utm is a 3g utm is 3g yeah it's contain utm if it is contain lt 4g if gsm so this is how i did and if you contain something like that you can change the value also you do so uh, what i'm going to do in my video i will provide my uh, link here of github it is there in github i put into all the github 
so you guys can practice and uh, that's all this issue but the uh, one thing I would like to say with you guys is the syntax you need to write uh, they will not allow to type uh, search in Google and uh, th that's why I stuck because uh, some I forgot the syntax you know why it's coming like that yeah so you can download and do or whatever you want to do but I will recommend to use this one Chalco you know uh, the Google Collab and try to finish thank you for watching please like and subscribe my channel so I can create valuable videos for the